So there are two types of gene therapies. One is called the somatic cell gene therapy and the other is called the germline gene therapy. And as you can understand by the term, somatic cell means any cell of your body. And germline cells are your sex cells, which are sperms and eggs. When we talk about somatic cell therapy, we are talking about modifying the cells of your body. And when a person undergoes somatic cell therapy, the therapy only affects the individual that is undergoing the therapy, but the effects of the therapy cannot be passed onto their offsprings. Why? Because that therapy is localized to the type of cell that it is being administered to. And it is also easy to monitor that area. So let's say I'm going to introduce a gene that allows the absorption of glucose into your muscles. And in order to do that, I'm going to select any muscle, most probably your bicep or tricep. And then I'm going to insert that gene into that location. And what is going to happen is that the effects of that gene will be pronounced or more observant in that particular location. And I can observe the changes in that muscle tissue. But those effects will not be transferred to your offspring. So somatic cell therapy is under practice and is widely used. And we are going to look at some examples later on in the lecture. On the contrary, germline therapy is making changes into the germline cells or your reproductive cells so that the gene is carried on to your offspring. And that is how that gene will be carried on to their offspring. And so this type of gene therapy becomes a permanent fix. Germline therapy is banned. It's not allowed. It's unethical and it can lead to unknown changes in your progeny in the body and we don't know what's going to happen how the human body might react or cause any changes any abnormality in physiology or behavior and hence this is very risky so up till now we've tried to understand what gene therapy is and what are the two types of gene therapies commonly practiced one is commonly practiced the other well you know what happened to these scientists who tried to crisper that newborn baby yeah well they are behind bars you get the idea right moving further we are going to discuss the two methods that we use to perform either somatic cell or germline therapies 